So a number of people have asked me for examples of socially fascist ideas. Now, I've added socially fascist because it's kind of important. Giving examples of this is easy. The notion that women should embrace their proper role and accept that role as being their only true path to happiness. The notion that LGBT are degenerates because, well, look at these extreme examples over here. This, this is what the LGBT community stands for. This is what they represent. And their influence on society is dangerous. The notion that it's okay to treat black people as if they're unintelligent and violent because look at these statistics over here. The notion that Mexicans who come here illegally have less value as human beings than those that come here from European countries. Yeah, these are all socially fascist ideas. You can claim, oh, you're red-pilled. Oh, sure you are. You know, I, I was in that mode for a period of time. I was pushing some of that stuff for a little while. There was a video that I made that I, that I deleted. I either deleted it or I privated it. I think I deleted it, though, where I thought I was red-pilled for a little while. But yeah, th these are fascist ideas. They're not fascist tactics. They're fascist ideas. Whether some of the people who are fighting against fascist ideas are using or supposedly using fascist tactics is of no consequence in this context. Their ideas themselves aren't fascist. Being against the spread of fascist ideas is not fascism, not by any stretch, sorry. It doesn't matter how many people agree with you. Through all of my incarnations on this platform, as I've changed my views as I get new information, I can't recall ever calling uh, Antifa fascist. I've always disagreed with that notion. They're violent, or some of them are violent, and many of them want to try to impede on people's freedom of speech, but those things by themselves are not fascism. A tactic does not equal an ideology. Do I agree with fascist tactics? No, but that's for a different discussion. I'm talking about socially fascist ideas that are easily spread. Fascist ideas spread like a virus, and as far as I'm concerned, they need to be extinguished at every given opportunity from spreading in the mainstream. If fascists want to band together and form underground, uh, you know, uh, networks online, they can go right ahead. It doesn't matter how much we try to stop it or, tr or how much money we put into trying to stop it. It's going to be there, but we can stop it from spreading in the mainstream. If your argument is that we, sh we should just try to beat their ideas with better ideas, you're essentially handing them the trophy. You're blatantly just letting them win. You're doing it on purpose. You're saying, oh, my principles. No amount of purity spiraling your principles or virtue signaling the free marketplace of ideas is going to change this. You know the truth of this situation, but you're going to stand on your principles no matter what happens. It reminds me of Star Trek and the Prime Directive. Are you really going to push for the Prime Directive regardless of the outcome? And this is one of the reasons why I don't consider myself a man of principles. I'm a man of ideas and values. Values can be adapted to match the situation. Principles cannot. I'd rather be adaptable, personally. I'd rather be trying to fight for the good of society and how it actually is, not fight for some principle that aids in our failure, you know, when, when applied to a number of scenarios. As I've said before, here in the United States, we have freedom of speech. We have the First Amendment. You can't be thrown in jail or have to pay a fine for stating your opinions. Until those rights, your actual First Amendment rights, are under attack, and not just this slippery slope, oh, well, if they're doing it on social media, they're going to do it in real life. No, that it, it, the one doesn't equal the other. Sorry, it doesn't, doesn't lead to the other. Okay, 
we would have to change, we'd have to fundamentally change some things about our government for that to be the case. So until that's happening, I mean, please shut the fuck up about losing your basic rights because you're not able to say everything that you want on mainstream social media platforms and video sharing sites. Those aren't your basic rights. You're not losing your First Amendment rights. And no, it's not a fascist tactic for a, an online platform to moderate their content. As I've said many times before, you have plenty of places you can go to spread fascist ideas. Don't like it here on this platform? Go to BitChute. Find somewhere else. There's plenty of places for you to go. This platform is no longer friendly to fascist ideas like it was from in the 2014 to 2016 period. It's not a free-for-all anymore. Do you want those golden years back? Yeah, go to BitChute. It's right there waiting for you, like the Richard Marx song describes, right? <laughs>